Hi, you've clicked on to today's tropical tidbit for Monday, June 15th, 2015. The thoughts expressed in this video are mine alone, and in making decisions, please always consult the National Hurricane Center and National Weather Service, not me. Well, here's Invest 91L continuing to spin away here over the northwest Gulf of Mexico, moving toward the Texas coastline, expected to make landfall sometime tomorrow morning or early afternoon. And the National Hurricane Center has not yet classified this as a tropical storm because of a recon mission earlier today, which found a very disorganized wind pattern near the center, and the circulation appeared to be elongated and ovular in shape, which, although closed, does not meet the criteria for a well-defined center of circulation, and so the NHC has not upgraded this to Tropical Storm Bill just yet, but there is a new recon mission inbound from Biloxi as of the making of this video around 5 p.m. Central Time. Uh, around 7 p.m. Central Time, this plane will be sampling the storm, and it may very well be that that data allows the NHC to initiate advisories on Tropical Storm Bill, as current observations from buoys and oil rigs indicates that there is likely a closed center of circulation somewhere in here, and uh, depending on how organized that looks, in this area when the plane goes in that may meet the criteria for a tropical storm and advisories will be initiated perhaps sometime later this evening uh, but right now uh, it's clearly becoming better organized the upper level low that was over the system yesterday has largely been eroded by the heat released from all of these thunderstorms and is largely dissipated you can see a much more clockwise and expanding nature of the upper clouds here on water vapor imagery in this upper level outflow is a much more favorable pattern to allow development and intensification of the system as it nears the Texas coast. And although it only has about 24 hours left before landfall, there is a nice little burst of convection over where the center likely is. And if this is this continues in a persistent way overnight tonight, we may see some intensification before landfall. The official National Hurricane Center forecast will come out if they initiate advisories later this evening. But right now, some intensification would not be impossible with this as it comes toward the coast and the plane from earlier already indicates that this has 45 mile per hour winds with it it's very possible that this could have greater than 60 mile per hour winds before moving ashore and again Texans know how quickly systems can strengthen in their backyard in this area of very warm water near the coast and this will be something to watch for as this comes ashore in terms of immediate wind impacts right at the coast but the primary concern with this system remains the large moisture envelope it's bringing with it up into eastern Texas and into Oklahoma and even beyond as we look at the WPC precipitation forecast for the next few days showing greater than six inches of rain over eastern Texas and parts of eastern Oklahoma into Arkansas Missouri and up into the Ohio Valley later as the system recurves and again these areas especially the southern plains have received much more rain than normal over the last couple of months and that soggy land and swelled rivers makes flooding a great possibility with the heavy rains brought by this system and in addition the wet ground may allow the system to maintain itself over land a little bit easier than most systems do and although most systems dissipate going inland some models suggest this may maintain itself fairly well as it comes inland with the h wharf showing very little weakening here this is the radar presentation as it crosses the red river on the model and uh, if it is this organized as it moves into oklahoma uh, these kind of rain bands in an organized fashion can drop a lot of rain over localized areas in a short period of time and that is the concern with the system is that organization persistent as it moves across the land will allow much more rain than usual with a weak tropical storm making this journey and uh, so flooding is a great and primary concern with this system and will remain so for most of this area of the country over the next two or three days so overall, again, very close to having Tropical Storm Bill in the north northwest Gulf right now. Exactly when the National Hurricane Center decides to upgrade this will not change the primary impact, which is heavy flooding expected near and east of where the system makes landfall. But immediate uh, coastline impacts from the wind from the system will be felt. Very blustery day coming tomorrow as this already has gale force winds with it. And there is an opportunity for some intensification before the system makes landfall across the Texas coastline sometime tomorrow morning or early afternoon. Stay tuned to the National Hurricane Center and the N National Weather Service offices in Corpus Christi in Houston, Texas for the latest information. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.